Today we are reviewing the Peak Design Travel Tripod. Aaron gave me a call about two months ago, said he's getting a Peak Design Travel Tripod. He said, Tav, can you test this out? Can you give us your insight about it? So here I am. Let's start with the specs. For the specs, we have two versions of this same tripod. One is made with carbon fiber legs and the other one is made with aluminium instead of carbon fiber. The aluminium one comes in at 3.4 pounds and the carbon fiber one comes in at 2.8 pounds. Both of these tripods can carry up to 20 kgs in uh, camera weight. The prices are as follows. The aluminium version comes in at 380 US dollars and this carbon fiber version comes in at 650. 50 US dollars. Well, peak design. What is uh, what is so special about this tripod that is $650? Let's jump into it. Let's talk about the peakiest of the designs. Speaking of design, the first thing that comes to mind is the whole construction feels extremely sturdy and it feels very solid and reliable. You do not fear that it's going to drop my camera. Moving on from there, we have a lot of really innovative little tricks and tips and how they work is very different from all other tripods that I have used. Number one, when this is closed up, there is almost no wasted space anywhere. Even like you see the gaps, everything is touching almost everything else. So it is ultra compact. Number two, let's say a little design detail here is like this little button pops in and out. And that's the button to open and close the little ball head thing and you can tuck it away it just has a little magnet inside just like a little detail another one is here we have a quick release ball head here and then if you want to tighten the ball head you just turn the little ring here and then it tightens up another cool feature about this uh, head here is the quick release if you're well versed and practiced with it you can have it hooked up really quickly if you are not well versed it doesn't hook up very fast you can be like trying to mess around with it Questions. Does it point straight down? Of course. Look at it. Loose in here. Point straight down. Easy. Does it do upside down mode? Well, of course. Step one. Remove the giblets. Step two. Camera around here. Loosen. Pull the whole thing out. close to the ground mode very fancy so one thing i do have to say though is this ball head doesn't have an inbuilt resistance suppose that you forget to uh, hold your camera while you're adjusting the resistance of this it'll just drop like that very nerve-wracking whereas other ball heads tend to have a system with built-in resistance so instead of falling down straight it'll fall kind of softer this one doesn't have it. It's a sacrifice, I suppose, for having it so compact. Overall, extremely well designed. Even if you look on the bottom, you have like clever little additions like this little hook here. But then you pull this and this hook comes out with a little twist. And then there's a phone holder that has a magnetic holder inside. So it doesn't like automatically just fall out, which the phone holder itself is really well designed because it's like clips into the quick release and then you can put your phone here speaking of neat little design things i really love this allen key here it is just so well made it just feels sturdy it feels solid and it folds up opens up gives you lots of leverage and then it pops into here so your tri tripod always has an allen key with it it's nice it's really nice let's move on to talking about the usability i would say a lot of these design features, these design innovations are actually so far removed from what normal tripod use is that it's difficult to know how to use this instinctively. It doesn't make sense. So you need like a five minute training course on your tripod. You need to watch the videos that Peak Design provides. And if you're working with other people who haven't watched those videos, then the user experience looks kind of like this. All right, other photographer. Huh? How does this work? Oh. Oh. Oh, this is the type. Okay, okay. I need to turn. Oh, what? How do I... How do I loosen this? So, what I'm saying, if you look here, you have your quick release here with the plate which attaches to your camera. 
clicks in, tightens up. This is the only system I know that is like this. Usually I have like the screw one or a little lever, but this one is so unique. And then to loosen the ball head is the thing right underneath and it's not immediately obvious. So if you're working with other people on a professional shoot and they can't figure out a tripod, they look really, really bad. In front of the talent and in front of the producers, it just looks bad. Another case, I brought this out to a professional shoot and then I give it a knock and this heavy ass thing just fell straight onto the floor, like making a loud knock. And it's just like, hey man, your equipment's falling apart. <laughs> it's not, but it looks weird. That's why I would say a lot of people don't like this. Moving on with the usability. Peak Design says that this is the quickest setup and takedown ever. And I really disagree with them on this because it's like, suppose you want your tripod lower and you put it like this. And this is not going to fit into the case here because actually what you need to do is you need to turn this into the compact mode. Okay, it's in the compact mode, but then uh, let's say you're uh, not used to the tripod and you're like, attach this and then, oh, the ball head doesn't really move. What What's going on? Things like this, one step at a time. Another thing people have noticed that the carry case here is extremely tight. Allow me to demonstrate. Three, two, one, go. Okay, not too bad, but that's because I've done it a whole bunch of times. Let's talk about the pros and cons of the Peak Design Travel Tripod. Pro number one. Obviously, it's the most compact tripod around. Pro number two, it feels extremely solid and well-built. It even comes with a lifetime warranty. Pro number three, the tools you need are on the tripod and the tripod itself is, you can take it apart and you can maintain it, repair it. It's built to last. Let's talk about the cons. If you are not used to Peak Design products, you will need like a five to 10 minute training course on how to use it because it is not immediately obvious to anyone how this works. Con number two, it's really expensive. It is $650. With these pros and cons in mind, I can only suggest this to a person who is a solo photographer. You don't need to work with other people who don't know how to use your gear. If you need something that is mainly compact and safe space, this is for you. If you are that person, please click on the first link in the description, which will bring you to Peak Design's website, where you can acquire one of these beautiful tripods for yourself. That link also helps to support our YouTube channel. So thank you very much. That's all I got for today. Thank you for watching. Please, if you have any ideas and comments, please leave them in the comment section below. I'm Tav, this is Nomad's Nation. Thank you for watching.